Pops, how are you babies doing? I am doing good. So, I know this look is different. I thought, hmm, what can I do different, you know, so instead of the same looks? So, I thought, why don't I come with an outfit, you know, a hot, then the towel, vamp look. Maybe the look that will steal somebody's husband, maybe? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just playing. You know, I would never do that, but I just thought it would be a cool look to come up with, you know. So dolls, I have missed you, and I'm glad you dolls are watching my videos again. And I would love if you would like and subscribe, and please turn on the notification bell so you dolls can get videos as soon as I upload them. So if you dolls want to see this hot, sexy, vamp, still your husband makeup look, please keep watching. I am spraying my face with my primer. And then I have already dotted my face with my color corrector. Now I'm taking my beautiful Black Radiance Foundation Classic Tan, and I am doing my foundation with that. Um, I love this foundation, dolls. I highly recommend it for women of color with skin tones like mine. And yeah, I really feel like this is the right true match. Um, also, my add, I also added concealer under my eyes, so... That's probably why they look like that. Um, I'm going to just add that so I don't leave nothing out. But I love this foundation, dolls. It matches perfectly with my skin tone. And, yeah, and it comes in a nice glass jar. And it, and it lasts for a very long time, might I add. I really do love it. I highly recommend it. Now I'm taking my translucent hair. And I am putting this all over my face. I always use the same translucent. It smells like soap. I love it. I got this from the drugstore. Highly recommend. Next, I am Elizabeth Taylor translucent in um, dark warm honey. And I'm putting this all over my face. You know, I'm just shocked that it actually goes good with my skin. Now I'm taking my little palette, um, my contour palette, and I'm just giving myself a slight highlight and contour on the sides of my nose. I do have a little nose, flat nose, and I'm just giving myself a contour. Next, I am taking my natural Too Faced palette, and I am giving myself some little blush on the sides of my cheeks. I am using the lightest blush I have in that palette because it is really strong, really um, pigmented, and I am putting this lightly on my cheeks. I know it looks hard to you dolls probably, but it's just a light. Now dolls, I am taking my... Revolutions palette and I'm taking my highlighter and I'm giving my high just giving myself little highlights here and there where I want it to be at. Usually dolls I don't like to put highlight, but with this look I wanted to just to highlight some things. Ugh, I think I put a little bit too much, but I'm just showing you dolls, you know, the highlight that I'm using. Um I am gonna tone that highlight down because I think I put a little bit too much on my cheeks, but other than that, I do put it on my nose, on my cheeks, and ab above my eyebrows to highlight it. Now I am just taking my eyebrow brush, and I am brushing my eyebrows up. And now I am taking my e.l.f. pomade, and I am uh, lining my brows with it. This is the only pomade I love to use. And I am taking it more, and I'm filling it in slightly. I also love to use the pomade in another um, eye, uh, eyebrow palette that I have. It's really dark black, and I'm just lining my brows with it. Um, I had a, a good friend uh, show me how to do my brows like this. Thank you for showing me. I will give credit where it's due. Um, I'm lightly brushing it upwards to um, make it have a, a more natural look, but... Yeah, dolls, I'm getting more better with my eyebrows. I am practicing more on my makeup skills. I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit better each time I practice. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully they look good and even. <laughs> I have been practicing. So yeah, that is how that is. Now I am taking my foundation in my black radiance. And I am lightly outlining my brows to give it a more crisp, 
cut look. Um, I really wanted them to look more neater. I used to not do it like this, but now that I have started, I cannot stop dolls. I'm so happy I learned it this way. Also, I'm doing my other brows the same way. I love outlining my brows now. Brows. <laughs> I love outlining them and making sure they look so more neater. They look so much neater now that I do it this way, which I'm really happy about. And yeah. Now I am taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer <laughs> and I am putting this all on my lids, dolls. I love this primer so much. I highly recommend. Now I'm taking some tape, putting them on the ends of my lids. And I am taking my Bankroll palette by a and It's by Amber Scroll. It's from Hush. I love this palette so much. I am taking prenup and I'm putting that all on my lids. Now I'm taking bankroll and I'm putting that on the ends of my lids. Now dolls, I'm giving myself a smoky black, semi smoky um, ombre black lid. I am doing this in my corners, outer corners of my lids. And I'm just blending in circles over and over on each lid. After that, I am doing it on the other side. And dolls, might I add, make sure when you do do this... Make sure that you have tape. I know some probably don't need it, but I like to use tape because it gives you a, a nice cut crease when you're done and it keeps things more neat. Now I'm going with cash roll and I'm putting them on the middle of my lids. Now this is more of a bronzy shimmer gold. I'm putting that just on the middle to give it a more ombre effect. I love it. It's more shimmery than it's hard glitter. But yeah, I'm giving it more of an ombre effect on the middle. And then I'm slowly working my way on the outer corners of my eyes on each eye. Now I'm taking my Femme Fatale palette. And I am going with Temptation. And I am putting that on the outer corners of my eyelids. Now this is a more uh, glittery, glittery, not shimmer, but more glittery gold in the middle like more in the outer corners of my lids. I love this glitter. It's not as thick as some of the glitters that I have. This is more of like a smaller glitter, but it does the job and I am mixing the two so it can have that ombre effect. Um, I'm mixing the Temptation and the other one at the same time so they both can have that ombre effect. I have loved this palette for so long, dolls. I've used it in my other palette um, the last video I did, my scary looking video, but yeah, I love this palette so much. I will be putting all this deets in the description box below. And yeah, I love this palette so much. <laughs> I can't stop saying it because it's just, it's creamy. It comes in deep, big pans and you cannot ask for a better palette. Now I am cleaning my eyeshadow up. I am taking my concealer and I am cleaning it up slowly, dolls. Um, I did notice that it was a little bit too big for my liking, so I lowered the eyelid, the eyelid shadow down because I felt it was too big. But yes, dolls, once I come, you see the end results, you're going to like it. Watch. Now I am removing this tape off my face. And as you can see how crisp and clean it looks underneath, and then I have to clean it up more. After I cleaned it up, I am taking my duo lash and my eyelashes, mink lashes I got from AliExpress, and I am putting them on with my fingers and my nails. Um, these are super thick dolls. I had to get used to wearing these. I love them though now. And I'm doing the other same thing on the other lid. Um, it takes practice, but I really do love it. Now I am taking my eyeliner and I am underlining my lids. And I'm doing it to both eyes. As you dolls can see, I already eyelined my lids and mascara. Next, I am using my Orpha Zanali lip liner in Burgundy Wine. It is in the color vinyl um, with her uh, lip set. 
It is by Morphe. I love this lip liner, dolls. I advise to wear it with any wine type of color or um, if you want to outline your lips and give yourself an ombre effect, this is a good lip liner to use. It glides on smooth and perfect and the perfect application. I highly recommend it. Now I am taking my solo look metallic lipstick and it is in the Saved by the Bell palette dolls. I advise you guys to get this too. It's a metallic. I'm only putting it in the middle of my lips and the bottom and the upper and then I'm smacking it together just to give that light ombre metallic-y look. So yeah dolls, I will advise you to get this from Solo Look. You can find it in my description box below and it is a nice metallic-y look to you dolls lips. And voila, there is the finished makeup look. I hope you dolls love it. I have fun recreating this. This is what it looked like. Now, on to hair. First, I'm taking my scarf down dolls. I've had my pin curls up in my hair. This is a Peruvian 20, 21 inch wig, lace front wig. I really do love it. I am getting me a new one because I want to try different hairstyles, pin up hairstyles with it. But yes, I am taking the pin curls down first. These have been uh, pinned up for like a week now. Well, no, not a week. It's been pinned up for like two to three days. So they've set already in my hair. Um, I have did a lot of pin curls, dolls. So for this look, you are going to have to do a lot of pin curls. I would say at least 30 pin curls. So now that I'm taking them down, this is how it looks like. And I'm brushing it with a paddle brush. I'm starting from the very ends and I'm working my way up, dolls. You don't want to brush out the curls. Um, I will say that you should also uh, make sure, which I didn't do, <laughs> make sure that you do it in sections. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I don't do it in sections. So make sure you do it in sections so you can get that flawless look. Now that I'm done brushing it out, I am pinning everything down. I'm pinning everything um, with duckbill clips around the lower part of my head. And I'm just taking some hairspray and I'm just molding dolls. You know, the same routine I always do in all my tutorials. I just brush and mold. It does take a little time to get the right style that you want, how you want it. So I'm just molding with my hands and brushing and hairspraying. That's all that it does. You know, um, yeah, that's it. Now for outfit. Now this is a showstopper dress dolls. I got this from Fashion Nova. It's called In The Chain Gang um, dress. I got these earrings from AliExpress. I thought they were really cute. And yeah, these this dress really shows off your assets dolls. So if you are not into revealing dresses, I would not advise you to wear this. But I wore a fur, stole over it. And this is the perfect dress to look good and dolls it is all black satin with chains in the front now for my shoes these is by fabulicious i love these heels they are my favorite i walk good in them they're perfect so dolls that is my look of tonight thank you so much for watching supporting me liking subscribing and you know turning on the notification bell and just sharing my videos and giving me encouragement every day I have fun recreating this look. I love it. I am going to do more vampy looks for you dolls because I know I've been getting a lot of those requests. So, thank you dolls for just supporting me. And I love you dolls and I will see you dolls again soon. Bye dolls.